welcome back to his channel. I hope you're doing really, really well. And this is your Champion League round of 16 second leg preview. As we've got four matches to go, and we'll know or our eight quarter finalists for this year's year for Champion League. So if you're excited, please do like and share the video. If you like the video in general, please subscribe to the channel. Leave me your opinions in the comments. So, first game we've got is Arsenal taking on Porto. Uh, Porto are at the moment 1 0. In the tie, but Arsenal now back at the Emirates Stadium, and they are doing really, really well in the Premier League. Uh, the top of the Premier League, as we speak, uh, so they definitely do have and hope of beating Porto. Porto defended really, really well in the first leg. They were the better team. They created the better chances. But second leg at home, Arsenal, I think, do need to improve, and I think they will. But Porto are very difficult not to crack. They've been very, very solid defensively in Europe. So Arsenal need to, I think, score early to put them back, uh, put them back on the back foot, and also look to be defensively sound because a goal could be massive for Porto's confidence. Uh, Porto's main men, of course, are going to be Emerson, the midfield two of Nico Gonzalez and Alan Villera. Those two are very, very good in my opinion. Uh, I think they've done really, really well for Porto. Uh, as a pairing, you got, I think, Diego Costa in there, who's been very good again. And I think the top clubs should be looking at him for sure. But I think uh, Arsenal favourites, I think the way they're playing, they they pushed it a bit against Brentford. But I thought overall, the amount of dominance they had in that game against Brentford, the amount of dominance they had against Sheffield United, they scored like six. Arsenal are favourites. Let's be honest, Arsenal are massive favourites. Uh, I think they're going to look to keep them all the ball. Just make sure that Porto are playing in their own half, force mistakes, and I think that's going to be the best way to go about it. I think Arsenal, they aren't the most experienced side in Europe. Arteta isn't the most experienced coach in Europe either. But that doesn't really matter because they have been superb. They're a superb team. I think they're getting better, and I think uh, they are the favourites at home. I think they will turn it around. I'm going with a 3 1 Arsenal win here at the Emirates Stadium that will put them back. In the Champions League and quarterfinals. Uh, moving over, we got Barca versus Napoli. Uh, both teams have seen tremendous improvement since the last time these two met. Barcelona have looked much, much better. Napoli have looked much, much better. Uh, Napoli, of course, and the Calzone have done really, really well. They've been playing a much more front foot style of football. Uh, Ozinem is firing, Cavara is firing, and all of a sudden, Napoli are really, really picking up fire. Now, at the moment, in the lead positions, Napoli aren't doing the best. I would guess at the moment they are in seventh position. So, the longer the Champions League run goes on, the better it is for them at the moment because it helps them to distract in the league. Barca, this is Xavi Hernandez's last couple of matches in charge. So, of course, you want to send him off with the Champions League title. I think it would be great if they can do it. But I doubt they can. I think they got some real quality though. Got Cubasos, or I don't know how to say the Pal Cubasos, Cubarsi. Uh, the centre back has been really, really good. Uh, you got the midfield. I think that still needs work. But Andres Christensen in the pivot has been an absolute brilliant move from Xavi. Uh, you got Yamal who's been balling. I don't think he should be playing that much football, but he's been balling when he's played. Barca, I think, are favourites. They're home. I think they're gonna have the the stadium really, really full. The true place they've been playing at. Uh, so I think Barcelona are the favourites here. Barcelona got a lot of quality. You've got game changes in that team who can cope with the moment of magic. So I think Barca are favourites. Uh, Napoli also do have game changes in their side. But just don't think they're going, they're going to have enough to really challenge the Barcelona team. I think Barcelona are clicking just at the right time. And I just don't think they'll lose to a Napoli team at the moment. I just don't. I think it'll be 3-1 to Barcelona and Barcelona will make the quarterfinals. Moving over, probably the most even tie on paper left. Uh, Dortmund versus PSV. Uh, PSV have been absolutely storming the air, the VZ. Uh, if I look at the table, they've been absolutely fantastic. They've been flying in the league, in fact, and the, the gap between them and final is a huge 10 points with just nine games to go. So, PSV on fire in the Champions League also. They got some incredible results. Draw at home to Arsenal. Beat Sevilla away. Beat Lenz away. So they're definitely not out of this tie. I think they've got some quality players in their team. 
Who can hurt Dortmund? And Dortmund in the first leg, yes, I think they scored but after that PSV were very, very good. They gave them a good match and now uh, in the way leg, it's going to be important that Borussia Dortmund do not mess it up because I think they can easily mess it up. Dortmund, uh, PSV though, they're not the most defensive team in the world. They can't defend. So that's something that does give Dortmund hope. So they will be able to create quite freely. I think it's going to be a very open game. I think both teams will go for a hammer and tongs. And... I think Borussia Dortmund, PSV will go into penalties. I think it'll be 2 2 in normal time, extra time 2 2 penalties, and it'll be Dortmund, in my opinion, who will come out of top in this penalty shootout and they'll make the run of 16. I think PSV will miss out through penalties, but I think they will, unfortunately for them. Uh, moving on to the final game, we've got Atletico Madrid versus Inter. Uh, this is a very good tie. Uh, Atletico Madrid are in a rot. At the moment, in terms of one wise, so this is a huge game for Simeone. They need to win this game to keep the Champions League campaign going, give their fans something to think about because uh, the league performances have not been good enough. But they are probably taking on one of the best teams in Europe easily in Inter Milan, who are absolutely brilliant to watch under Simeone Zaghi. He's very absolute miracles uh, at the moment as Inter Milan manager. So front footed. So aggressive and they love to play the game at their own pace. They're a fantastic team. I rate uh, Inzaghi as a coach. Uh, the front two is fantastic. Be it Martinez, be it Doram. Uh, then you got, of course, uh, for Atletico Madrid. they got a lot of quality players. Griezmann, when he's on it, is absolutely brilliant. But in the first leg, Atletico Madrid were very, very off. And I think Atletico Madrid are lucky that they're still in the tie at 1 0 because that performance genuinely was. It was stinky. It was a stinky performance from Atletico Madrid. So that would need to change if they're serious about making it through. Have they got enough quality to be uh, Inter? Yes. But do I think they will? No. I think Inter are a very, very good team. They can defend. And the Inzaghi, they're very, very good in Europe. They can defend really, really well if needs be. They can attack. I just don't think in I just don't think Atletico Madrid are that team anymore. They have a lot of flaws in their systems. And I think Inter just going to be too good person in my opinion. So I'm going with a... Nil nil, yeah, nil nil. And according to my prediction, the round of 16 pairing, I mean, the court final pairings would look like this so Bayern versus Paris Saint Germain, Paris Saint Germain, Real Madrid, Manchester City, Arsenal, Barcelona, Dortmund, and Inter Milan. So that's a very good set of teams at the end over there. All 18 could fancy themselves in the next round of this competition. And I'm excited to see how these four matches do go indeed. If you like the video, please do like and share the video. If you like the video in general, please subscribe. Be my opinions about everything in the comments. And I hope to see you guys later on another video.